Happy Wednesday, I think it is. So hopefully everyone out there is doing all right today. I am Edward Euler, happy to be joined by y'all, the peanut gallery, for today's playthrough. So welcome to Heavy Cardboard, y'all. Teach, play, and discuss medium and heavy strategy board games, war games, 18xx. Today, obviously, we are bringing y'all Yin Yang, uh, designed by Du Gay Wei, I think is how you say that, and uh, published by BG Nations. Now, a lot of people are going to ask, how do you get a copy of this? To the best of my knowledge, BG Nations is, it's out of print. However, I have heard that Tasty Minstrel has copies available, but I've also heard that Tasty Minstrel has been hard to get a hold of. So take that with a grain of salt. My suggestion, if you guys do enjoy uh, the game, we streamed this last year just following uh, Spiel. If you're interested in this, I would reach out to BG Nations and find out uh, what the status is with them. So there you go. Right. So as you guys know, it can be sometimes hard uh, as a content creator to circle back to games and you forget about them after a while. Not forget about them, but you just don't have the time to be able to get back and circle back like you may want to. Now we last played this, this was the first stream we did following uh, Spiel 2019 and uh, we were really, really excited about this. We found out, we stumbled on it, Jess and I did, stumbled on it at, uh, at Spiel, told a whole lot of folks about it told uh, Twitter about it, and they sold out for the first time in their history. That was, that was really, really cool. I was, I was happy for them. And uh, they, they sent me a gift in appreciation for that, which is cool. You guys will see that here in a minute. But we did a multiplayer stream of this, and this is, this is the you know quintessential midweight Euro with some really clever uh, theme and setting in this game that I think folks are going to enjoy. Now, I didn't forget about it, I just forgot that there's a solo game with Yin Yang. And uh, one of my patrons, Brianna, mentioned this in Slack, in the Heavy Cardboard Slack, and was like, oh yeah, and it's got a solo. I was like, wait, well, I totally forgot about that. And I was like, I'm going to do that next week. That sounds like fun. So here we are. That's it. That's, that's how this came about. So if you like it, and you're pissed off you can't get a copy, blame Brianna. There you go, see how that works? Really easy. <laughs> All right, so if you guys are ready, uh, I'm ready. I'm, I'm going to teach it, for the most part, it's a pretty low complexity game, uh, but I'm not gonna mention how it differs from the multiplayer game. We did that, go find it on the YouTube channel here. Uh, if you want to see that and you want to see how to play it there. Um, there have been some modifications I did just for streaming reasons. You guys will see momentarily. But other than that, I'm going to do uh, most of it on the front end, but some of it as we go. And without further ado, here we go. Yin Yong, shall we? The concept of yin and yang comes from Tai Ji, which first originated from the scholarly tome of Zhou Yi, one of the three most important epics in ancient Chinese history. According to legend, when the first emperor, Qin Shi Huang, uh, carried out the burning of all scholarly books, a scholar named Li Si listed Zhou Yi as a book on medical divination, sparing it from harm. As time went by, various dynasties studied and added their own uh, insights to the theories within. In the last years of the Ming dynasties, missionaries spread this concept to the Western world. In modern times, Tai Ji has become a renowned philosophy that countless people around the world have studied and know about. In the game Yin Yang, players will play as proponents of the Tai Chi faith, touring around the country to build sacred temples. Along your journey, you will have to learn to read the will of the gods 
and harness their power to expand your spheres of influence. All right, so what is it you guys are looking at here? Well, we have a number of things. First off, all of these dice that you see out here are not part of the game. Everything else you see is part of the game, but the dice are simply there to help you guys be able to, uh, as a quick visual, match up these tokens with their locations and the order in which those things are going to go. So just wanted to point that out. But other than that, we have the main game board, we have the Taiji board, and we have the player board here, okay? In the, on the main game board, we have a series of provinces, uh, as you can see, and I am going to totally butcher trying to name them, so we're just going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven provinces, as you can see there. Within the provinces, there are two types of cities. There are major and minor cities. The major cities start with a resource next to them, and those are the red cities. Then there are the blue cities, which are the smaller or minor cities and do not have any resources in them or on them. All right. The Taiji board over here is broken up into two sides. You have the uh, lower divination and the upper divination here. Uh, right. And then the player board itself has a divinity area, a development area, and an action area. The other thing that you guys need to know is there are, uh, there are divination coins and there are two sets of divination coins there are the game divination coins which are these down here which have a number on them on both sides and you know what actually i think i will be able to show you guys this a little bit zoomed in i think so let me let me see if i have that yeah there we go so we have this so there is a white six on the sixth coin and a black six on the back of it. One side, uh, so we have the yin and yang side. But for those that don't want easy or, or, or want easy uh, uh, clarity, you know, white, black, as opposed to the different uh, iconography or symbols that are on each side of the coins there. Okay. All right. So those are numbered one through six. And then every player has their own set of six coins as well, which have either a white or black sticker, uh, or a white, a white sticker on one side, black side. Let's try that again. They have a white sticker on the yin side and a black sticker on the yang side. There you go. All right. So, that said, I'm just gonna give an overview on how we play the game. The solo game, uh, there is no dummy player, there is nothing along the lines of that, all right? So everything that we're going to do, there is no turn order in this, it's just me taking actions, et cetera, et cetera. So the game takes place over the course of five years or five rounds. And each year or each round is divided into the following four phases. And I, I have these written down here. Phase one is the ways and the will of the gods phase. So what's gonna happen first is out here, there are different resources. There are four different colors of resources that represent, uh, I think this is jade, bronze, um, uh, linen, and let me, let me see if I can figure out what the others are. Okay, they are, sorry, they are bronze, bone, jade, and silk. So there you go. Or they are blue, brown, yellowish, greenish, reddish resource tokens. Okay, all right. So what we are going to do, we're going to be big picture. Normally this game is all about victory points because you have a victory point track around the outside, around the outside, around the outside. In the solo game, there is no victory points in this game. All we are trying to do is we are going to try and complete some of these rows, columns, or diagonals, kind of like bingo, if you are familiar with that, over here, okay? And we'll get into the uh, details of that, as well as building temples in at least four, if not all seven, of the regions out here, or the provinces, in a very particular order as well. So that's the goal of the game. 
as I said, the game takes place over five rounds, and within each round, there are four phases. So the first phase, the ways and wills of the gods phase. The first thing that's going to happen is you'll notice that there are five black resources or five black tokens out there. Those are disaster tokens. The very first thing that's going to happen is I'm going to remove one of them and then put it up here to signify, hey, it's the beginning of the first round. Okay, cool. Then I am going to choose, well, collectively, you guys actually will choose one of the turtle shells from which we're going to play with. More on that in a minute. We're going to put all of the divination coins into the turtle shell, shake them up, spit them out, and then we're going to block off one of each of the two actions that are available up here. We'll go through the details when we actually start the game. That's phase one. Phase two, I'm going to take my coins, my divination coins, put them into a turtle shell, shake them around, spit them out, and then I'm going to choose actions. I'm going to choose one of the tokens up here to be able to take actions later on. Then I'm going to take an immediate action as well that will help me do those things that I mentioned. Building temples, moving my guy around the board out here, as well as collecting resources to be able to uh, succeed in the goal of the game. All right, that is the second phase. Then there's some extra stuff of being able to move up these tracks, possibly being able to take those gems. And then phase three is those divination coins, I'm then going to rearrange down here for the actions uh, section or the actions phase, if you will. The second is the divination phase. And the third is the action phase. All right, we're going to take some number of actions going left to right over here on our player board. And then finally, phase four is God's will be done phase. Remove the God's will tokens, so the two that are blocked off. Do it again, do that five times, and hopefully be able to make it to the end of the game having succeeded. There you go. That's what it is. That's what it is. That's what we're going to be doing. All right. So a couple things. Uh, we need to finish on setup here for the uh, for the solo game, all right? But before we get into that, priorities. So this is the turtle shell that came with my copy of the game, okay? So there we go, kind of a uh, goldish color, a bone color kind of, okay? All right? However, in appreciation for what we did for uh, from the publisher and designer, they sent me this box. And in this box, which I will unlatch and raise up, are a few other turtle shells, which these are pretty fancy, not going to lie. So this was a really nice thing. So I have never used these yet. So we have kind of a bronze, we have a silver, and a gold. And uh, let me uh, grab the other one. And the other one is kind of a lighter gold-ish color kind of so choose one that we will use for the uh the gods and one we will choose for us for our divinations so you guys choose those okay and then uh then we'll get through setup all right i thought that would kind of be a nice touch thought that was pretty cool of them all right the extra shells so that was that was very kind of them to do so full disclosure we have gotten exactly zero out of doing these playthroughs. Like, I mean, other than the gift they sent, like they didn't sponsor them. They didn't, I just, I thought it was a cool game and wanted to highlight it. The end, all right? If I was smart, I would have done like a, a Chinese based tea. I just grabbed orange Pico because I was running behind. So I, I apologize, all right? All right, so it sounds like uh, we'll do bronze for the gods, uh, silver for the gods, I think, and bronze for us, right? Yeah, bronze for the gods. We'll do, okay, so here we go. We will do bronze for the gods. Honestly, I think this is the prettiest one. I like, I like this one the most. Uh, so we'll do this one for the gods, okay? All right, there. Um... And, uh, and silver. Gold. Let's do the shiny. Let's do silver for us. All right. All right. So, the gods. We'll get that one. 
we will get this one. All right. I think that's all right. Those look good. They're unnecessary. They are completely frivolous. I could easily shuffle these up in my hand and dump them out. But you know what? Uh, this is thematic. This is, uh, this is kind of um, the divination is thematically accurate here. All right. Um, so there you go. All right. So we'll just have an extra shell just hang out because why not? Right. All right. So here we go. Uh, one other thing. So we have a, an extra player color here and we have their, um, what are those called? The scoring tiles over here. Okay, so our scoring tiles are there. We need to shuffle up, so we have another color. I'm used to struggling against green, so I figure I'd choose green. So I'm going to choose four of these, and these were randomly placed out there. And I, whatever four I grab out of here, I'm going to replace out here. And those are going to be the ones that we're trying to follow. Okay, so here we go. So we will do this one at a time. There, all right, so we have... Uh, that's sideways, by the way. So we have that one. Okay, so that is removed from the game. Next one. Uh, we have that one. You know what? I guess I could bring the chat and everything up in the meantime. So hold on one second. Hey, there we go. Hi. All right. Shiny for Friny. There you go. All right. There you go, Goose Arena. Oh, that on the shelf? That's just my metal turtle shell coin shaker presentation box. All right. So then we have... there. Oh, wow. They're all in the corner so far. And... Here we go. Oh, okay. Well... Here we go. So the others, out of the game. The other uh, yellow ones, out of the game. So now that we have done that, let me make sure I have the rest set up. Okay, in this, I went ahead and randomized the order of the provinces as well. And that's what, so we have one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. I'll explain that here in a minute. Uh, other than that, here is the goal of the game. Okay, let me show you guys this. So if you take a look, at the end of five years, or five rounds, we are only going to be using the green uh, markers, so we need to complete at least two of the lines of the green ones, and we will have had to have flipped over at least four of the seven traveler tiles for the provinces. All right? So... Immortal, I think, is a pretty good goal, but realistically, we're gonna go, we're gonna shoot for master, okay? So we either have to have five temples built, or sorry, temples built in five different kingdoms and complete all four lines, or more likely, I think it's gonna be one of these two. So a temple in every kingdom and three or two lines specifically. So that's our goal. Okay, however, there's a catch here, because there's always a catch, okay? I'm allowed to start in any one city that I want, other than obvious, well, actually, yeah, any one city that I want. And whatever city I start in, I can build a temple. Here's the catch. For me to be able to mark off these symbol or these provinces down here, which is one of the in-game conditions, they have to be built in the order. One, two, three three, four, five, six, seven. And those were randomized at the beginning of the game because there's no way I would have made it this tough if that were the case. Okay, all right. Leftmost city on the middle of the river, there's one missing. Where is this? Hold on. One resource missing in region six, leftmost city. Nope, all right, if you're saying on the middle river right there there in fact is so that tells me there might be one on the blue somewhere thank you christopher there is this one that shouldn't have been there there we go all fixed now we're good all right good catch all right so i can build temples in other orders 
But in order for me to flip these over as complete, like so, I have to build them in the numbered order as you see. And again, reminder, these are not part of the game, the dice, they're just to make it easier, it's streamy. Because let's face it, there's green, there's green, there's other green, other green, and other green. I thought that would be easier for y'all, okay? So obviously we are going to go ahead and start here, okay? Wherever you start, you put a temple token on the city, okay? You are allowed to kind of cheat and turn over the, the traveler tile for that. So, um, yeah. So needless to say, I think it's safe to assume we are going to start, say, right there. And we get to place a temple on that location. And I believe, I need to double check, we are allowed to take the gem as well. All right, let me double check that real quick. That's the only thing that I don't have written down. So check the rule book for that one. Uh, you cannot start where there's a disaster token. It just says place a temple token. Um, so I don't believe that you actually get to take the gem for that location. So we will keep it there. All right. So now let's go ahead and talk about over here for the, uh, for the achievement table, okay? And what it is that we're going to try and do, okay? So looking at this part of the board, the only ones that matter for our goal for the game are the ones that are in green. So in other words, making this column, this column, that row, and that diagonal. Those are the only things that matter. So what are these? And we'll go ahead and start here and work our way clockwise. So in this case, this one, which eh, for a solo game is really not important, but turn order, okay? So whatever, that literally is useless for me. So collecting this column gets me no bonus. It would get me points in a multiplayer, but yeah, whatever. Uh, this one here gets me uh, points, but uh, I should point out that actually none of these matter because it's all in-game scoring and there is no in-game scoring in the solo game. So all it is that we're trying to do is collect the gems that correspond with those. And whenever you place them, you can place them wherever you want. So obviously I'm going to place it all in that area. Okay, all right. That makes sense. So yeah, I, I, I guess that was kind of redundant in a sense. Um, the only thing that player order is going to do for me whenever I advance this up here, whenever I hit one of these spots that has an outline around it, a red outline, which is the fourth, eighth, 12th, and 16th spot, I'm going to be able to bump up my yin or yang in extra four spaces, okay? That's it. All right, so now let's go ahead and briefly go over what it is I'm going to be doing on an actual turn as I do it. So. Phase one, remove a disaster token, and then we're going to divine here and block off a couple of actions. Well, looking at where I start right here, so obviously I'm going to want to move to build a temple right there. By the way, this gets flipped over because we now have a temple built there, okay? So we're going to want to move over here and build a temple there, and then move over here and build the temple there. That is actually a really good start. Then after that, then it gets really hard because then I got to work my way back down here. But looking at this, I'm thinking I go here, here, and then I could make a case to come this way, that, but I feel like this is the choke point, so I think I'm going to remove that one. That's going to be the first disaster token uh, removed. And here we go, okay? So now what we are going to do is we are going to take the six divination ones, all right? We're going to put them into the slot here. And I actually have a, this is called turtle dealing. This is what I named this camera view. It's not going to be nearly as loud for y'all as it will for me. 
and then we're going to spit out all six. There we go. That is the whole point of that shell, was to do just as you saw. So then we need to organize these in numbered order. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, well, that was unlikely to happen, but as you can see, one, two, three are all on the yin side, and four, five, six are all on the yang side, okay? So the one, two, three is going to block off over here on the, on the lower uh, divination, all right? So let's go ahead and take a look at the Taiji board a little bit more in detail. So we have that action blocked off for us for the first round, okay? Because it is uh, yin, 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 and then yong, yong, yong is going to be blocked off. That really sucks because that is going to be the temple space there that I'm not going to be able to choose, okay? All right. All right, so that is the end of phase one. It's, it's literally, literally that simple, okay? So these now, I'm going to go ahead, put up there, those are done for the round, okay? So phase two now, are we're going to take our coins and throw them into our shell and spit them on out, okay? Okay, there we go. So we have three and three again. Now, you'll notice that these do not have any numbers associated with them. It is strictly three, three yin, three yang, okay? Now, why does that matter? Well, now we need to decide what it is we're going to do for our actions, okay? And now is where I'm going to give a little bit of context for everything. So what we're going to do is we're going to take all six of our tokens over here. We have three white, three black, right? So as you can see, we have arrows. Three are going to be for the Taiji board, and three are going to be, well, I should say for the upper, and three for the lower Taiji board. Now the lower is this stuff that is right here. And actually, now that I think about this, I probably ought to grab one of the markers. So give me just one second. So I can mark it off on our board as well. So this action is not available to us this round, which really kind of sucks. Perform a temple action immediately. Well, I'm not going to be able to do that. Bummer. But any of these other options are available to us, provided that we arrange the coins in the order shown here to be able to carry out that action. But it's not just this one that we have to focus on. We're also going to be able to take one of these available tokens, obviously not this one, uh, to be able to then later on be able to use it in every subsequent round to help us to do what our goal is, whether it's collect resources, move around the board, or build temples. Ultimately, that's what we're going to be doing, okay? Hopefully all that makes sense. So let's look at what our actions are for the lower uh, divination or on the Taiji board. So perform a boat action immediately. Move one space via water. Immediately ex exchange uh, the location of two of my scoring tiles. Well, you know what? If I don't like where these are, I can always rearrange them. So there's that as an option, okay? Third one is move your turn order token three steps ahead. That's probably going to be used as a last resort. Here, okay. Perform a carriage action immediately. That means uh, move along roads, one space. Okay. Immediately increase your yin and yang value by three steps. That is these tracks right here, which we actually forgot one thing. So you'll notice we got three white and three black. That is three yin, three yang. So we move each of those up three based on what it is we rolled, if you will. Move your turn order uh, token ahead uh, by the number of your temples. Again, yeah, so these two are last resorts, right? And then perform a goods action immediately. Take a good. Okay, that's, that's, wait for it, that's good, okay? 
All right. So perform a goods action. That's going to be important because we are going to need to be able to get a lot of goods. Being able to move, also important because uh, we're here and we need to get there. And we also need to be able to build temples. And also taking a look at our achievement table here, what we need to do is we need two bone color, two yellow, right? Uh, no, check that. We need one. We need two. Yes. Then we need two, three, nope, one, two red. So we actually need one, two, three bone. Three bluish. I think we only need one green. Am I seeing that right? No, two. We need two greens. So basically, we need the blue, so that would be good, right? Oh, boy. Um, and then the question is, what token do we want to take for the remainder of the game? Well, I think movement, I mean, everything's going to be important, right? I mean, everything is. So what are the different tokens here? Let's go ahead and go over those, okay? All right, so the, the temple ones allow you to build temples. I know, crazy stuff there, right? So we have that for all, and these were randomly put out here. So we have the uh, three yin and three yang, but the three yang clearly is covered or blocked off for this round. So we're not gonna be able to take that one, all right? The carriage ones are going to allow us to move along uh, uh, a road, which are kind of the beige spaces out here, so any of those. The boats allow us to move along the river here, obviously. And finally, the, uh, the goods action allows us to take a good in whatever city that we are in and put it immediately over into our uh, achievement table or our development area, okay? Uh, let me see. And once you place it, you can't move it. There you go, cool. There you go. All right. All right. So we need, uh, according to Martha here, it says uh, we need two green, two red, and four of bone and blue. Okay. Well, the first two are going to be blue. We see that. So I think being able to take one of them to start would be kind of nice. So that would go yong, yong, yong. That would leave us with the exact combination of yin, 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 which happens to be building a temple. That's actually not too bad. I think I'm okay with that, so let's go ahead and choose that. So, taking a look at my actions here in detail, okay? So, the yin 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 here says we're going to match it up, and it always goes from inside out, okay? So I'm basically going to mirror exactly how it is here on this board. So I'm going to take one of these tiles, and I'm just gonna set it over here for right now. It will eventually come out here. More on that in the next phase. Okay. So the next one is then perform a goods action immediately because we have young, young, young. So, okay. So we're going to grab that blue. And then we're going to come over to our achievement table and place it over here on one of the blue spots. And you know what? That's on two. So it kind of makes sense to go ahead and put that bad boy right there. Okay. Done. So that is phase two, okay? Now, if ever we reach the top of either of these, we can reset them to then be able to take any one of the randomly put out here gems or resources out there. So keep that in mind and help me remember that I have that available to us. All right, have fun, Franny. Um, also, I can demolish a temple if I hate my divination. That's probably unlikely to happen. Just gonna throw that out there. All right, so phase three now. So phase three has to do with our player board here. So we are going to now kind of reset these, but you have to keep them in the same uh, three white, three black. Because now what we are going to do is we're going to choose along with any tokens that we have what actions we're going to take and in what order. 
So at the beginning of the game, we're going to have a total of one, two, three actions, four actions, because we have building a temple. So ideally, what we want to do is we want to move via road over here, build a temple, move via road, and build a temple. So in a perfect world, those are the four actions that we want to take, okay? So now, so it's move, build, move, build. So let's take a look. Can we do that? So carriage is white, white, okay? So if we were to do this, white, white means, so yin, yin means we get to take a carriage action. So we're going to execute these left or right. The next one is build a temple. Now we could use black, uh, yong yin, so we could do this, which there's that, okay? However, once we have done that, we are now left with build the temple and two black. And two black is a boat action, which kind of sucks. However, if you cannot take an action or you choose not to, you're allowed to skip an action and increase one on the yin yang track on one of them. Okay. As kind of a, uh, yeah. You couldn't do that or chose not to, you can get the pity action. All right? So, let's see. This is move. What if we did the temple action, building a temple there? Oh, that's kind of good. And then we need to be able to move again. So, if we move, and we cannot. Hmm. Well, since we cannot do everything that we want to do because we don't have enough yin, we, right? So let's see, if we move, build the temple, and then pick up a good. What about pick up a good if we did this? So we pick up a good there, means we would pick up the blue good, which we need, that's good. And then we have two black left, which is a boat action. Yeah. Ah. Uh, and the reason, so I'm looking over here going, okay, Area two now is this area here. So we can't like go up here and build in three and then come into two. We can't do it that way, all right? Um, so if we were to boat up and then carriage over, we're still in zone three and we gotta get to zone two and build there first. Now we can build a temple up here and do all that stuff, but it won't count for the order. We can't like build in three then build in two and then flip over two and three because we did them in the wrong order. We'd be able to flip over two, but threes we would then ha oops, have to build a new temple in which to be able to do so. So, yeah, that kind of stinks, huh? Um, I mean, I could just move down via boat first, right? But that would kind of waste an action. I would rather bump one of those up first. So I think moving via road makes sense, so that's going to be white, white, so yin, yin. Then, if we want, we can build the temple. That seems like a good idea. <clears throat> and then pick up a good, and then we forfeit that fourth action, because uh, it's just the way it's going to be, I think. I think that's what we're gonna do. So here we go, now we execute. We go move, build, when we build there, we flip the second one over. We are halfway to the minimum for that part of it there. Then we're going to pick up a good, so this, and this guy will then, now we have a choice, right? Uh, so where do we place this? So we need that one, that one, and that one. So you know what, why don't we just work on, at least work on that one? you know, halfway to that one, I guess. Okay, so that makes sense. So we've done that, then this one we're going to forego, and you know what? Let's go with the yin side as a bump for foregoing that there. And then we're going to remove the God's will tokens. And that's the end of the first round, do it all over again. It's really simple mechanically, but it's actually a really, really clever game. All right. Cheers, y'all. Hey! 
So it's not going to bump the number up there. But Tiago, cheers. He uh, is an annual patron who uh, renewed annually. So thank you, Tiago. Cheers. Really appreciate the support. And as you can see down there, go to pledgehc.com, support the show there. If you guys enjoy the show, find it valuable, find it useful, etc., etc. Give it a thumb, subscribe, all that stuff while you're at it. I appreciate it. Thanks a lot. All right. So new round. Okay. Okay. So we have, you know what? I think we can remove the one and the two now, right? Because we've done those. That works. Okay, cool. All right. So now looking at this, when we get up to three here and build, where do we want to go from there? We need to get down here for four. The easiest way to go down there, I think, is one. So we get up here and then it's one, two, three, four to move there. Is that going to be the quickest? So from there, it'd be one, two, three, four, five. I think so. So then from four to five, probably makes sense to go ahead and get rid of this disaster token. There we go. Okay. And now we're going to uh, divine. So here we go. Just giving them a good shake before we uh, divine this. Yeah, it's, I, it, this is a really simple way. It, it, it's a really cool little clever little puzzle here. And it's going to change every game because of the order of those, the order of these, the order of those, and the divination every round, right? So, yeah. So, yeah, color me impressed so far with the solo. So here we go. Let's see, what do we got? Here we go. Three and three again. But the order is different, and that matters. So we will get rid of the bronze shell. So we have one, two, three, and then four, five, six. So we're going to go bottom up to mimic what's out there, okay? So just to keep it consistent, so we have Yong, Yin, Yong for this one. So we have black, white, black from inside out, black, white, black. So that one is going to be blocked off here. And then we have white, Yin, Yong, Yin. So white, black, white. So white, black, white is going to go that one, exchange a location of a scoring tile. So, okay, that's not so bad. I'm okay with that. There we go. So, these bad boys get shuffled. All right. Done. All right. So, now we're going to go into phase two. Now, here's the cool thing about this, if I didn't make this clear earlier, okay? And what that is, is so we're obviously going to reset our divination coins every round. So all six of these are going to get shuffled up into our shell. But here's the cool thing. This doesn't stay there every round. So that's just going to come over here, hang out. There we go. So now we'll be able to change up the order of everything. Okay. Hey, Alan. Yes, totally superfluous and totally amazing. All right. So here we go. Here's our, our silver. We will throw those in. What do we have? All right, so we have four yong, two yin. Okay, so first things first, four yong, one, two, three, four, and two yin. There, so we've marked that. That's done. So now, let's go and bring these bad boys up here. Okay, so what are we thinking about doing here for the second, uh, second round? So what do we need to do? We need carriage. Well, hold on, let's, let's back that up. So we have five actions this turn, right? Because we have one, it's always going to be three from the divination coin, so three, four, and then we're going to get another one here. So it's going to be five actions. So in a perfect world, five actions would be one, 
two to build, three to pick that up, four, five maybe to pick up the green gem, because I'm looking over here and there are no green gems on where we are. There are some here and we need a total of two, but we're gonna possibly be able to grab one there when that pegs out up there. So if, or we could go one, two, three, four, five, six, so we're short. So I could make a case for one, move here, grab the gem, and then we're either gonna have to grab the, well, actually we're gonna have to grab this and that. So yeah, I think we do need to grab it. So move, grab a gem, build the temple, that's three. Carriage ride over four and either build the temple or pick up the gem. I think that's a fair, uh, I think that's a fair plan on what it is we need to do. So, first thing, immediate thing, what do we want to do? Probably a travel, a carriage action in a perfect world, uh, I think, because these are all immediate, right? So a carriage action looks like this, which leaves us those three. So with those three, a yin and two yang, a yin and two yang, we need tokens, that's good. We could do this one. So we have two black and a white, or a boat action, and the boat action is not going to help us out this round. So the goods action potentially is what we're going to take, I think. I think so. Um, I think so. So let's go ahead and do that. So we will go one, two, three. So yin, yang, yang, yin, yang, yang, again from the center out. So we take the goods token. I think so. I mean, the carriage would be nice. I'm not, uh, the carriage, because we're gonna need a ton, we're just gonna need a ton of movement. So getting more movement would be good. Um, so the only other way we could do that is if we chose something else over here that used two white and a black, which is a boat action. It doesn't make sense for us right now. So I think, I think that's how we do it. I'm good with that. All right. Okay. So now we need to figure out the order of actions over here. So let's see, we need to be able to move. So moving over here is going to be a carriage, which is going to be the two, oh boy. But if we do that, oh boy. Oh, we're in luck, sort of. It's just going to cost us extra movement, I think. So if we did carriage, take the good, build a temple, and then boat, boat. That would go here, do do, there, there. And at least sets us up there to come on back down and we'll be able to clear that one out at the beginning of next round. I think that's pretty good. Oh, I did forget the immediate carriage, Durr. Thank you, Martha. So check that, so. So then, if we did this, and we did this. So a carriage then goes there, which gets us there. Well, hold on. Okay, so let's, we've already taken the immediate carriage to move up here. We take the good, Oh, but, uh, so that's two. Then we build a temple, that will be three with our goal to get down here at four. So then we could go carriage, river, river to get there. The other option here 
is we could go oof. So hold on. What if we I'm just I'm just playing around with this. So if we took the goods and then did the temple. That leaves us one white. We can't, uh, it doesn't work, does it? Because we need two white to be able to move via road or four black to be able to move via river. Nope, I don't think that works. So if we do that, take it there, then our option is so once we're there, We could get to here. We just can't build anything there, but we will be able to clear that out for next round. And that would give us extra goods, so hold on. So if we were to do this in that order, then we go carriage. No, we cannot get there, can we? Never mind. I guess, actually, we could go boat, carriage, wasted. Boat, carriage, get back to here, and then take the other, bump that up, and then we would be able to get a free resource that way. I think that's what we do. So take the resource here. We're just going to set that aside for now. Build the temple there. That completes three. Then we go boat down to here, carriage back down to there, and then this one we will not use. We will bump that up, spend all eight, and we will grab one of the resources. And looking at this, I know we're going to be able to grab one of the greens here. Ooh, or that one, actually, probably come down here. So if we were to get there, 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 I think that's the order we go, right? So it would be green, blue, bone, green, blue. We don't need the blue. What was it that we, uh, we needed? Looking at the list, it is, we need four bone and four blue, so we do need the blue. Uh, we could go to the disease city with boat, boat, carriage, boat, boat, carriage to there, that is, or to the blue resource in the upper left, which that's actually kind of interesting, isn't it? What if we were to come up here, because then we are one, two, three movement away coming this way, but I kind of want that bone resource, so I think we stay, I think we, we, we do what, what I, this way we get the resource of our choice here. I think that's what we do. The question now is, what resource? I know we need a second green, and we're only going to have access to one green down here. So I think we go ahead and take one of these. So now that we've done that, now we gotta figure out a home for both of these. So let's see, well, I mean, this is 
everything needs that, so that, that feels like a no-brainer. And then uh, for the greens, I guess we could go ahead and take care of that one. Unfortunately, we don't have any others that are multiple, so I think uh, at least we're close to getting one of those complete. I think that works. All right, so these will reset, these will clear, and we're done with two-fifths of the game now. Oops. All right, so I'm just going to shuffle all those up there. All right, so remove a disaster token of our choice. I just can't see us ever coming out here. I don't think we're ever going to need to go there. Uh, but just in case, because it's close to where we are, I think. So there will be that, and then we will divine. That was on six, I'm pretty sure. These turtle shells are no joke. Be careful with them. Weapons right here. I'm just saying. How y'all doing today, by the way? You guys enjoying this? How many of y'all have never heard of this game? I'm curious. I mean, I imagine a lot of y'all have just from uh, our playthrough and everything else previously, but... Okay, there we go. So I guess technically it's, I said bottom up, right? Or no, we'll do top. Mimic what that is, right? So I think I've been doing it this way. I think so. So bottom up. Okay, so the build a temple that is blocked off there. And there, that's unfortunate. And then the other one is four, five, six, like this. Okay. Oh, I'm sorry, Jonathan. Hope you feel better, man. Um, so that is this one here, inside out. Okay. All right. So that is here. I'm just making sure all of these are random because I'll be honest, the one downside to this, and I don't know, hold on, let me look, I'm curious. So that's on the black side. There is enough room for them to flip over in the shell. I was worried about that. I wasn't sure if that was the case, but uh, it is the case, so they can flip over inside there. All right, so we are done with phase one, so phase two now, but even so, just... Oh, welcome, Field Hunter. Well, on that note, hold on. For some reason, this thing's changing on its own every hour or so, but there you go. Cheers to Frank. Thank you, Frank. I appreciate the support. Thanks a lot. Nice. It's always fun to do, have these during the stream, so thank you, guys. That, that was really, really cool. All right. Uh, all right. So, right. So, here we go. We are throwing these bad boys, and I try not to look at the order in which they're going in or what side they're going in, okay? Okay, there we go. All right, so we got five and one, it looks like. Well, it just so happens that that worked out, so five and one, because Anything extra is just lost, so I'm kind of glad that uh, we spent it on that earlier. Wow, okay, five and one, huh?
Right. Okay. My bad. Okay. All right. So we have five yang, one yin. Okay. So we're only looking at what has one white. So that'd be this row here. Perform a carriage. Useful. Less important. Oh, oh, one more thing. Hold on. I forgot. We took that, so we need to uh, draw. This comes preceded with, uh, I think it's like six of each, something along the lines there. So not looking. And there we go. We have a blue that came out. All right. So the carriage action is pretty good. Uh, getting three, eh, and no. So I'm leaning towards this. And that would, if we did that, though, that would then give us a temple, which gives us building two temples. We have a ton of boat movement ahead of us, potentially. So let's see, if we took the immediate carriage, a boat down here, and temple, that's good. And then boat, boat. So that would leave us too much temple, I think. I don't know if I really want to be able to get that. So instead, mm. okay, so what if we did, so we only have one white. So if we only have one white, what if we did perform a goods action? Well, that's wasted for us. So that sucks. So we want to use the white one here. If we use the white one here, that means we have to take the temple there. Um, otherwise, we could get a boat action here. There's a lot of water down here, isn't there? So do we forego the action here? Oh, that's tough, man. Uh, so I need carriage, boat. Carriage, boat, boat. We have that. So you know what? I think we take the immediate carriage, which then gives us the temple here. And the immediate carriage, I'm not going to forget this time, brings us back down there. Okay? All right. So now we go into the third phase. The third phase has us, we need to go boat, which is going to be black, black then temple, might as well get the bone while we're there. That puts us here. Then we need boat, temple, there, puts, that covers five, four and five. And then ideally, we would come backwards. Or instead of the good, how about we do it this way? Boat, temple, river, so boat, temple, damn it, I need another boat. Uh, Boat up to five, build the temple in five, and then I have a carriage, which would put us back down here, there. It's really not that bad. Theoretically, I could build another temple there. Oh no, I'd be there and then carriage down there. No, it's not carriage, sorry, it's Templar good. Okay.
Okay. So we take a boat to four, build the temple, that I know for sure. Then from there, yeah, I think that's it. I think we grab the good. Because we got to get to five before we get to six, right? So then we go river up to five, build the temple in five. So we now have five of those. I think that's good. And then basically this one's wasted. And we can bump and get another good. Yeah, done. There we go. So we go boat, build the temple. So that will be number four. Then we will take the good with the bad. Eh. Go boat there, build the temple. That takes care of five. And then it's wasted, so I will use this to bump that up one, and then I will figure out one of the gems, one of the resources that we need to get. So I think this is a no-brainer to go there, right? So let's see. Let's try and figure out. So we have all four different colors as our options here, okay? We can build the temple in a blue city. We are allowed, yes. Um, so now the question is, I think we take the... So we're going to be able to get a blue which we need. We're going to be able to get a green, which we need for sure. We will probably be able to get another bone. So that takes care of those. So I'm thinking looking at this, we need a red, we need it. So I think we take the red one. So for the wasted one there, we'll take the red. Let's go ahead and complete that row. Or better yet, how about we go there? Let's complete the row. There we go. Done. Oh, I guess, yeah, we could have done that right here instead, huh? That's a fair point. So instead of doing this, we will have done that. I agree. Good call, Martha. Yeah. I like that. Good call. All right. So we reset that. We are three-fifths of the way through the game. Yeah, I didn't even see that because that that was in the uh, in the five region. Good call. Yep, good call. Okay. There we go. Move these over. Y'all digging this? All right, disaster token. I don't think it really matters. Just the way the distribution of those came out. So we got that, and now we will. Here we go. What do we got? Uh, bottom to top. Let's see. We got one. Oops. That was there, right? Two, three. There we go. So one, two, three. So we have Yong Yong Yin. So bottom top, Yong Yong Yin. There, a carriage. That's unfortunate. And then it's a uh, white, black, white. Also, unfortunate, we need to redraw there, okay? Okay. 
Okay. So what is it we can do from there? I guess we could go r immediate river. Yeah, it put, puts us into six, I guess. Uh, we do need a blue for that, so probably immediate river is what I'm thinking, I think. Yeah. All right. Well, uh, rolling down the river. So it's going to be a five and one. So that pings that out and that goes up here. Oh, and another thing uh, I, I, I should have been doing is when you drop these, you could drop it straight down to where they end on their end. And, uh, and you don't know the order, what side they're going to fall on. So that's what I should have been doing. I'll do that going forward. All right. Um, so uh, I do not have two whites to be able to take a boat action. Oh, that sucks. Oh, that was unfortunate. That was unfortunate. So I only have one white, so it's going to either be this or this, and we have five temples. So that means we're gonna be able to boost that up four, which potentially gets us another good. So it's nothing to sleep on. Um, so that's, there's that. Uh, So just, just looking at this, so if we were to do that, that means we get another time. Ah, I really want, oh, and I can't get the other carriage. Okay, so a boat movement, I think we want, because we have a total of two boat movement here. If we had a third, potentially. So that would get us a third temple, which that it feels wasted. Um, we could get that is a boat temple good. I need a carriage, man, and I can't get one. Oh boy. Um, so there's no way to move via carriage this turn at all. There's no land. I can't move via carriage. So if we went boat, so two black, goods, temple, carriage is two more black. Or we use a white and black, so two black, white and black, to grab the good, build the temple. Two black, build the temple. I, oh boy. And that puts us here, which is way not where we want to be. Or we could go here, move, build, take it, move back to where we are. And then we are one, two, three, four, four oh boy. Uh, or we are one, two, three away. Take care, Frank. Hey, Bernardo. Ay vey. Um, I 
I think we need the boat up here. I think we're going to need that no matter what. So I think, other way. I think that's got to happen, and that's just wasted. So we take the boat. That's going to be way more useful than a wasted temple. Um, so in that, I'm okay with that, I think. Oof. All right, so now the actions. Here we go. So we know we need a boat and a temple. We'll get the good while we're there. So that puts us here with everything done. Then we could go... We could go boat, boat, temple, and goods, and then we are one, two, three away there, and that gets us an extra good here, which we do, we will need. Maybe that's not so bad to get down to there. Well, okay, here, let's do these. These we know are going to happen. So we're going to go there for this, temple and good. So temple and good, which that puts the six down there. So we know that the blue is going to go there. So that's that. Okay. So now I have all of this stuff left to do. I could go boat, boat, temple good. And what that temple does is if I don't like my roll, I can always destroy that temple and re-roll. By the way, I'm going to spend that and get the bone. And the bone is going to go right there. Hey, Joe. I think I'm going to do that. So we go boat, boat. Temple and good. So we could go boat, boat, but then it's wasted. Whereas this, I at least get the extra green, which completes that. Then if we can pick this up and then get there, yeah, that's what we're going to do. Done. So we're going to go boom, boom, and then that'll be temple which we can destroy if we need, and this will go there. Done. All right. That way we have a little bit of flexibility, right? All right. Final round. Obviously, we're clearing that disease. All right, so here we go. May the gods shine favorably upon us. So what do we have? We have one, two, three. Four, five, six. Okay. So one, two, three, all black is blocking off a of goods. 
I'm good with that one. Wouldn't have wanted that one anyway. Good. And then four, five, six is going to be Yong Yin Yin. So Yong Yin Yin is that boat action there. Okay. Okay. That could be a lot worse. I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. So the gods were, were, were not unkind. So, all right. So, here we go. So what is it we want, right? We want a carriage. And then immediately take the good, which will complete that. That'll be one, two, three. And then we either want bone and blue, so, or green and red after that. Which ain't happening. Highly unlikely. Oh, and we needed to redraw that. There we go. All right. So let's just see uh, see what the gods have in, have in store for us, shall we? So we definitely need a carriage. So we need at least two white. I have one boat. We need two white and two black, which I like our chances of that, right? Oh God, we gotta get to there, not there. So here. Oh, that's okay. So we need a carriage and a boat. All right. Okay. I think we might could do some damage with that. Okay, let's see what we can do. So we got four yin, two yang. Yang, sorry. Okay. So we have one carriage. So I'm just looking at this later. So we have a carriage. We get a good. Then we have a boat. Then we have another boat. And then we have a temple. And ideally, we don't need that blue. We need a red but we got the red here. So I think we're gonna end up settling right there at three. I don't see any other way to finagle this. So let's see what we can do here. So we know we need carriage and boat there. So we can get one of those up here. So what else do we possibly want here? Uh, I mean, ideally it'd be carriage. So let's see, it would be carriage as an immediate there. And that leaves us to be able to grab a boat we need Nope, not quite, but we could grab a carriage there. So a boat immediate here. Nope, sorry, carriage immediate here. That is totally wrong. Hold on, I want carriage. I don't know what I was thinking. That would be an immediate carriage. That would be a temple. That sucks. Okay. So... So we have the immediate carriage, then we have goods and a boat gets us to here. Then we need a boat there, then a temple, then we have a carriage build an extra temple, but that doesn't really help us. Yeah, I, mm. the only real thing
I don't see any way we're going to be able to do it. Uh, oh, right. Thank you. So one, two, three, four. That goes up to five. And that will go up two. Thank you, Martha. All right. Um... Actually, hold on. If we did, just just looking. If we did that, that gives us a carriage up there. What does that free us up to over here? Um, top row, or yeah, the that row, and that doesn't really do us a whole lot of good. So that isn't terribly sexy, regardless of the order, whether it's that or that. So that doesn't matter. So here, if we, I'm just looking here, if we were to do this for over here, then that would be three, that would be bad. We don't want to do that. Okay, fine, we will get a carriage up here. And then over here, We'll go and move our turn order three ahead. It really doesn't matter. I don't think there's any, I could either get a carriage here or get a carriage there. So it's six of one half dozen the other. But at least that, mm, mm, hold on. And then that gives us an extra temple up here. That's fine. So instead, drop that back down, whatever. All right which gives us an immediate carriage. The immediate carriage will come down here. Then I will proceed to do those two, then a boat. Sorry. Might as well. There, then a boat, then a boat, then a temple. Might as well finish at the, uh... ooh, hold on, hold on. I don't think it matters, but let's see. I take the good, you take the bad. Now, now I have facts of life stuck in my head, don't ask me why. Uh, I don't need to build that temple, so hold on. So there, then that's a boat to go there, then that's a boat to go there, then that is to build a temple there, which puts that at seven. We built all our temples in, in the proper order. Good. Then, Yeah, I guess it really doesn't matter. Then it's going to go. So then basically I have four wasted. So I can go one, two, three, whatever. And I am one short. So I place that there. I grab, say, the green one there. But that's it. I don't have, I can't pick this up. Because I picked up the red, boat, boat, temple, and I don't have black left to be able to take up the goods. I could re-roll, but I don't think I want to do that. So I think that's where I finish. If I had one more black, I'd be able to grab that, which would give us the fourth one. So, so be it. All right, so that's the end of the game. So how did we do? Let's look at the uh, final scoring here. All right, so complete at least two of the lines. Good, 
we've done that. So we have seven kingdoms done, and we have completed one, two, three completed lines. I'm just immortal. I am not a deity. We collectively. We are immortal. There we go. So I think we played all that correct. There we go. I'll take that as a W. You betcha. How awesome are these, right? Seriously. Well, I refilled the goods in the middle, but I couldn't have grabbed them. I already grabbed the one extra already. Don't forget. So even if I drew a red one, it wouldn't have mattered. So yeah, I really enjoy this. Um, I enjoy it more multiplayer. I think the solo, it feels a little easy. Uh, correct. And the, the, the um, I'll show you guys those. The rule breaker cards here, the solo doesn't use these. Correct. All right. But uh, yeah, I mean, just from an aesthetic standpoint, right? I mean, I think it's pretty. You add in the turtle shells, thematic. It's very simple mechanically, but it, it has compelling gameplay, especially with the fact that you not only are having to puzzle out what it is you're trying to do with this, coupled with this, and then later on with that. Um, yeah, I think... Uh, I think that's pretty good. I mean, it, it, it feels right for the weight. Does that, if that makes sense, both everything from the, the game length to the, to the weight of the decisions, to the puzzly aspect of it. Um, I think this is, I mean, this and Rococo, right? Your quintessential midweight Euros. Uh, and I would argue that this one has a better theme. I mean, I'm not against making dresses for King Louis the Fourteenth. I think it's Fourteenth, but uh, but yeah, the I mean, the turtle shells, tortoise shells, put it over the top for me. So there you go, it's Yin Yang. Any questions uh, from anybody in the peanut gallery? Because if not, um, I'm pretty happy with that. Simple setup, simple uh, teardown, and everything. And I don't know if. I mean, the dice help just from, especially when we're streaming with the camera up above there. Um, so hopefully that helped you guys. But yeah, so check it out. Yin Yong from BG Nations. Uh, so yeah, big thanks to uh, everybody over there at BG Nations for the review copy of the game. And uh, I think it's been a very symbiotic, uh, which is how this is supposed to be, right? Try and highlight these not even under the radar, just off the radar game in this case. So, yeah, that was fun. All right. So that's it for me today. I will be back uh, along with Jess tomorrow night for a two-player of Beyond the Sun. But that is going to be only for patrons. That is a Glory to Rome stream. So unedited, not safe for work. Basically just not going to hold back. Um, that should be good. That should be a good time. Uh Bet on Jess, but if you're interested to see it, consider supporting the show over on PledgeHC.com. Give it a thumb down below if you haven't already. Uh, subscribe. Can't imagine why you wouldn't subscribe. It's not like it costs you anything. Yeah, that's it. All right, cool. You guys have a great rest of your day. Social distance, wear your masks. Be kind to one another, and I will see you guys. Well, at least all the patrons there. Tomorrow night, 7 p.m. Eastern. All right. If you're not, then Girl Stampede, two things on Friday. And then uh, Age of Steam, heavy cardboard map, Saturday night, and then Mage Night. Staring. It has a big box Sunday. I'm nervous about that one. Looking forward to it, though. I'll see you guys then. Take care, everybody. <laughs> ah, I'll take that as a victory. Absolutely. I will happily take that as a victory. Hey, Rolf. Hi, Jess.